starts by getting the best birch wood from one region in northwest Pennsylvania. Next, he traces out the first of five layers that will end up being the final propeller. Then he does a rough cut to cut out the basic shape for each layer. Now it's time to drill the center hole that the entire propeller will be based on. For the wider layers, he must first trim off the edge so it can be glued to make a wider piece. This glue is specially made to withstand the forces on an aircraft propeller. My very favorite machine they had in here was this monstrosity of a clamp from the Industrial Revolution. If you look closely, you can see the outline of the propeller blade and where they need to cover it. Once everything is matched up and clamped tightly, it will sit overnight to cure. Once they have all of the layers of the propeller ready, they will start measuring them and making them the right thickness. It's insane. They start balancing the propeller before it's even a propeller with each layer. And he marks the side that's heavy so that the next side will be opposite of that to keep it in balance throughout the entire process.
You know it's going to be a fast airplane when they whip out the Mountain Dew bottle. They were telling me that the glue is stronger than the wood itself. During testing, when they would fail, the wood would actually break before the glue would give way. Every square inch of this propeller gets clamped on every single layer. Now for the really cool part. they need to build a flat spot so that they can clamp it down when they really take some wood off. on that thing.
Now that the rough cut is done, it's time to make it look great. <laughs> It takes a human touch to get the right curves in the right places. It's a constant battle of balancing and shaving and balancing and shaving for hours and hours on every single prop to make it perfect. This is only the first layer of sealant. is custom fit for each propeller blade. To make sure that brass blade doesn't come off, it has to be screwed and riveted.
in order for each screw to fit flush, you have to countersink it into the wood. Rivets must go through the entire blade in the thin section to hold it together. Once the rivets are put in rough, it's time to do the finished squeeze. Checking the torque on every single screw at every single step. The screw heads and rivet heads will get filled with solder. Now that the propeller blade is made, it's time to seal it so it will last another hundred years. This propeller is gonna look awesome when we start that airplane up for the first time.